Hi students, uh, uh, especially the students uh, in subject animal nutrition and feeding. Okay, so uh, last lecture video was uh, on chapter 2 which is all about uh, animal nutrients. We, we discussed the definition of nutrients. We identified the different uh, types of nutrients, the macro and the micronutrients. And now, uh, and we already tap on the first uh, essential nutrients uh, for animals uh, like the water. No, So we already tapped that in the last uh, lecture video. Now, I'm going to follow it up with the next essential nutrient that is needed by the animals. So the first one was water. The next is carbohydrates. Okay. So what is carbohydrates? So carbohydrates is composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Okay. So what, what is in that carbohydrates? Okay. So it is an energy providing nutrient. So with that statement alone, it's very, very clear. So, it is an energy-providing nutrient. So, ang carbohydrates it is the one that uh, provides uh, energy uh, for the animals for uh, its movement, maintenance, uh, for health. Okay? So, it is an energy-providing nutrient. So, this should make up about 70 to 80% of an animal's diet. So, take note. No? So, if we're going to make feed, uh, feed formulation, carbohydrates must make up 70 to 80 percent of that animal's diet. So, mostly it should be carbohydrates. 70 percent of that uh, feed formulation should be uh, carbohydrates. Okay? So, this must be provided in the animal's diet every day. So, kinanglan siya, nganaa siya sa pagkaon sa animals every day. Okay. Carbohydrates may either be simple or complex. Okay, so na simple carbohydrates, na po complex carbohydrates. So simple carb carbohydrates are the ones that are easily digested. So the literacy ma digest. Then na po complex carbohydrates, kanang cellulose and lignin, in which uh, it will undergo complex uh, digestion. Okay, so it will go or undergo different processes para makonvert siya into carbohydrates. Okay, carbohydrates can also be classified into one of these three types. So carbohydrates has three types. Okay, first is the sugar, next is starch, and the fiber. So those are the three types of uh, carbohydrates. So carbohydrates as sugar. So, sama na. So, there are two kinds of sugars po sa, as carbohydrates. First one is simple sugars or monosaccharides. And the other one is double sugars or disaccharides. Okay. So, examples of simple sugars or monosaccharides are like glucose, galactose, and fructose. Okay. Those are simple sugars. Next are the maltose, lactose, and sucrose are double sugars. Glucose is an excellent source of energy for most cells. Okay, so uh, in the carbohydrates, sugar is a good source of carbohydrates also, but it has two kinds of sugars, simple and uh, double sugars. Next, carbohydrates are starch. So, Starch is, a, is, is an important source of energy. So, starch is converted into glucose in the digestive process. No? Uh, starch, uh, kung, ila, kung madigest na, so it is converted into glucose. Kung sa mga, mga good source of, uh, sa mga, mga materials or feedstuff na good source of starch. Okay? Sa mga kaya na, uh, Kanang, what you call this? Kanang balanghoy. Okay, example, that is a good source of uh, starch. Okay? Next, fiber. 
carbohydrates as fiber. The material left after the food has been digested is called a fiber. So kung i-consume ng mga different kinds of feedstuff kung yan napay nabilin, okay, that is called fiber. It's, this can be found uh, specifically on mga forages, no, grasses, the legumes. So kung makaon na sa inyo mga hayop na mga forages, the grasses, Okay? Uh, there is fiber in it. So, muna yung kasagaran mabilin. Fiber absorbs water and provides bulk and needed for the digestive system to function properly. So, muna siya. Uh, carbohydrates as sugar, carbohydrates as starch, and carbohydrates are as fiber. So, carbo carbohydrates come from cereals. Cereal grains such as corn, wheat, oats, rye, barley, sorghum, and others. Okay, so that is carbohydrates. Next, the next essential nutrients that is needed by the animals is the fat or the lipids. Okay, it is a food component that provides energy and is also the form in which animals store energy. So, ang fats or the lipids is a good source of energy also. But, this is also where the animals store energy. In short, or in a short term, fat is a stored energy. Okay? Fat is a stored energy. Fats and lipids plays an important role in supplying the energy needed by an animal for normal body maintenance. So, uh, the fats, di ba, energy man siya. So, it will come into function if the animal's body needs it more than the regular use of energy. So, makinanglan siya. Kung agakinanglan pa o additional nga energy ang inyo ang animals for example sa mga lactating animals sa mga gagatas or naigigatas ng mga animals usually they consume more uh, energy compared to non non lactating animals no so kung na consume na nila ang food na naay uh, energy nya ganid pa sila Dito nila kwao ng extra energy from the fats or the lipids para makover up ang need sa usa ka lactating animals, no? So so that is the role of the fats. 2.25 times the energy value of carbohydrates. So uh, as what that statement said, kung uh, Ang inyong carbohydrates, normal carbohydrate is 100 ml or 100 grams. So, it's the, the fat or lipids is 2.25 times the value of carbohydrates. So, needed siya. Those are stored energy. At body temperatures, fats are solid, solids and oils are liquid. Okay. They are classified into four group, groups, fatty acids. Simple lipids, common compound lipids, and derived lipids. So, uh, fatty fats and lipids are classified into four groups also. Fatty acids, simple lipids, comp compound lipids, and derived lipids. Okay, so this is uh, the, the, the four types of lipids or fats. So, under the lipids, we have fatty acids, we have simple lipids, we have compound lipids, and we have derived lipids. So under fatty acids, we have saturated fatty acids. Okay? We have unsaturated fatty acids. We have trans fatty acids or straight chain fatty acids. Okay? So mona siya under na. Simple lipids can be fats and waxes. Uh, compound would be... Uh, Containing uh, phosphoric acid, containing carbohydrates and often nitrogen, and containing proteins and containing spingosine and often uh, nitrogen. 
Derived lipids are steroids, terpenes, uh, terpenes, and iconosoids. Okay? So, muna siya ang fats and lipids. Okay? So, uh, that would be for uh, today's lecture video. I will not make it long so that you will not get bored in watching my lecture video. And hopefully that you are going to watch this and understand this and watch it fully, not partially. Okay? So, uh, uh, hopefully you did understand. And if you have questions, you just PM me for your questions. So that uh, you can, uh, we can further discuss what you want to know. Okay? So, this would, that would be all. Thank you and be kind to animals.